Have you ever wondered how people in the Bible like Elijah and Daniel and Moses were able to get their prayers answered and for their prayers to be so effective? Well, today I'm going to teach you all a prayer secret that the prophet Elijah did and how you can implement it and do it in your life as well. Elijah was a man of prayer, just like Moses. God tells Elijah to go up the mountain and that God himself will appear to him. While on top of the mountain, Elijah experiences an earthquake, a strong wind, and a fire. However, the Lord is not in any of these things. Then afterwards, Elijah hears a still small voice. Let's read the Bible verse, 1 Kings 19.12. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire, and after the fire came a gentle whisper. The word translated in Hebrew for still is actually better translated as silent rather than still. The other word for small in Hebrew means something that's so small and so quiet that you can barely hear it at all. It was so quiet that really you can hear nothing. One Bible even translates it as the sound of deafening silence. So deaf, you know, like you can't hear at all, which is closest to the Hebrew in its original meaning. So what Elijah heard was completely quiet, completely still, no sound at all. And then once he was able to hear that deafening silence, that nothingness, that's when he heard the voice of the Lord. So after you pray, you can try to be in silence before God to see if you'll feel anything, if you'll hear anything from him, and if he wants to speak to you in any way. This will actually even train you to be more sensitive to the Holy Spirit and to hear God's voice more clearly and more accurately. You'd be surprised how hard it is to actually stay quiet, not just outwardly like in your wherever you are in your prayer room in your home but even inside in your mind because sometimes even when the outwardly everything's quiet your mind is racing thoughts are racing inside your head elijah did this prayer secret and he was able to detect the presence of god this is actually something also that the new age has stolen from god remember the enemy can only copy the enemy cannot come up with new things so the enemy stole this and deceived man with it. But it was originally God's to begin with. Pray to God and focus on Jesus and then try to be completely silent. See if the Lord will speak to you in any way. This can also mean that even when you pray and you may not hear anything and you may not feel anything, that God is even there, even in the still and silence, that he's still there. It is a spiritual discipline to learn to do this, but with Christ, all things are possible. And Elijah would have had to be completely silent and still like this to recognize God's voice in the midst of all that chaos that was going on around him. I hope this helped you grow closer in intimacy with God and I'll see you in the next video.